Instagram and TikTok limit everyone to one link for your bio, which has given rise to an entire ecosystem of services. Koji, Linkpop, Milkshake, Card, Feedlink, Shore, and the most notable, Linktree. Typically, they take a visitor to a landing page filled with multiple hyperlinks, tying together all of a creator's social media profiles. The landing page gives viewers, supporters, or subscribers multiple ways they can support that person. I'll leave a link to this Wired article below, but I want you to see it on screen because right in the title, it says, need a landing page to promote all your social media profiles? That phrase sent me down a rabbit hole, a link tree is a landing page. I have landing pages through Kajabi. Can I build a link tree type page in Kajabi and get rid of my link tree? <laughs> the answer is yes, fam. And in this video, we're gonna walk you through the very easy and simple steps to do just that. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today we're looking at how to build a Kajabi landing page to replace your link tree. If you have a Kajabi account, go ahead and get logged in right now so you can follow along. If you're not currently on Kajabi, but you wanna try this out, use the link in the description below to start a free trial. Go ahead, do it right now. I'll wait on you. <laughs> Once you're logged in, you should be looking at your dashboard. Click the website option from the menu on the left. It's the top option right underneath the Kajabi logo. The main page will change, but the menu on the left will also expand and you'll want to click on the pages option. And once there, you'll want to click on landing, which is the middle option under the main title that says pages. Once in the landing pages section, you'll click on the blue button on the top right to create a new landing page, which is what the button says on it with a plus sign. Now you should be looking at templates. Scroll down until you see a section that says link in bio. Currently there are four options, but depending on when you're watching this video, there may be more. I'm going with the fresh theme but feel free to select preview on any of the options presented to get a sense of what it looks like before deciding. Once you've selected a theme and clicked on get started, give your page a name or title and click create and the system will install and get it all set up, which should only take a minute. At this stage, there isn't a right or wrong in terms of what you put on the page, but I like to do things in order. So I start with the welcome message at the top, the tagline that is directly under it. Then I'm gonna change out the profile picture and then change out the background image. For the buttons, treat this like you would any Linktree type platform. Put your course, website, masterclass, membership, booking page, and whatever else you can think of, be sure to save your work periodically as you go along. You can change the name from link one, two, three, four, five, six to something more recognizable by clicking the three dots next to a link and selecting rename from the menu. Feel free to add more links if you need them by clicking the three dots on any of the links and selecting duplicate from the menu. Don't forget to move the newly created link into the place you want it by putting your mouse on the two bars next to the link you want to move and sliding it up or down depending on where you want it to be. If you already have a mailing list set up, you can simply connect this to a form you've already created or simply hide it from the page by going to the link section, clicking the three dots on opt in and select hide from the menu. Lastly, be sure to put all your social media links in the social icon section. No need to fight with downloading icons, just put your link in the appropriate spot for the corresponding social platform and leave blank the rest and the system will take care of the work. Once you have it where you want it, use the preview icon on the top left to see 
what the world will see when they hit your page. That's it. <laughs> For my page, I did use QR code generator and V card maker to add those options to my page, which fully mimics what I was getting from my old digital card. And they seem to work perfectly. I'll leave those links in the description for you to try them out as well. Learn more cool things about Kajabi from these videos.